So my dear friend, today we discuss about an important opinion. It is called post cardiac arrest. After giving the management of cardiac arrest, uh, the things is not uh, done yet because there is a chance of a recurrent cardiac arrest, and the patient goes to shock due to return uh, due to return of his spine in a circulation failure. So we give the management of return of his spine in circulation to maintain the normal physiological stability, and you must give the management of underlying cause of cardiac arrest. It can be due to AMI, massive AMI, or it can be due to cardiac tamponade, or it can be due to perhaps pulmonary embolism. So you must give the management of uh, underlying cause of cardiac arrest, and you should maintain an ideal uh, temperature and also the blood pressure and also the um, proper uh, cerebral circulation. So there is a target, uh, target. So that uh, you things you must do after return of spinal in a circulation. You should do the medical management. It should be around thirty six degrees centigrade, and hypo hypo hypothermia or hyperthermia should be avoided. And uh, give the blood pressure management it should be maintained. Mean arterial pressure more than seventy, and also the atrial blood pressure more than hundred twenty. And uh, glucose control should be six to ten, and also the partial uh, pressure control should be maintained within thirty five to thirty three to forty five, and oxygen is ninety four to ninety eight. And there is underlying pathogenesis uh, to. Uh, the patient condition should be deteriorated after the management of cardiac arrest. It can be due to uh, myocardial stunning and it can be due to post uh, arrest vasodilation state because there is a chemical mediator which is released after cardiac arrest is caused vasodilation. So you should give the management uh, by giving inotrophs, vasodilators, and uh, if needed, give the mechanical support by doing intraortic balloon pump and also the uh, ECMO, ECMO devices. And uh, there is a, a, a scale to predict the neurological outcome by doing this test you can do uh, there is some clinical test you see there is any evidence of ulterior organ failure or an insignificant comorbidity patient such as heart failure renal failure cardiac failure or uh, doing, doing the clinical sign by elicit the uh, pupillary reflex corneal reflex and uh, see the myoclonus and uh, see the plantar response it is flexor or extensor and uh, doing the biochemical test such as uh, inolus level it uh, if it is more than thirty three, it is bad sign. And uh, doing the subsidy scan in, is in. If there is a gay white differentiation absent, so it is bad sign. And uh, if there is an evidence of subcutaneous hemorrhage, it is also a bad sign. And uh, you you can do also the EEG. If it is easy, there is a bus separation. It is a bad sign. And uh, you can do uh, the evoc potential. It is usually done on median nerve. Uh, if evoc potential, there is a absence of N two N twenty N two two zero spike. It is a bad sign. So, if N two spike is absent, it can be uh, it it is usually uh, assumed that uh, the neurological recovery is usually unusual. So, by doing the test, you can uh, see the prognostication after uh, it and obviously in circulation and on uh, and uh, and you must uh, assess the uh, this uh, risk stratification. So, in uh, some summary. Uh, the uh, there is a chance of uh, developing shock after uh, management of uh, cardiac arrest so you should uh, be cautious and uh, there is some uh, pathogenesis to to deteriorating the patient after cardiac arrest it can be due to vascular lesion myocardial stunning or it can be due to recurrent or uh, recurrent uh, cardiac arrest so you should give the management proper management to the patient by giving the inotrophs Inotrophs and also the basal vessels and also giving the mechanical devices, the devices if needed. And uh, you should maintain the proper temperature, also the blood pressure and glucose, and also the partial pressure of oxygen and carbon dioxide also, and also the oxygen saturation. And you should uh, predict the patient by giving the neurological recovery present or not by doing a uh, doing a scale criteria for that. So thank you viewers for your patient hearing. Thank you all.